Hello Libra, this is your lunar eclipse reading, what you're cutting out, what else is coming in when it comes to the solar eclipse that's, that's heading in for December. So I'm wanting to pick up the energies of what you're cutting out, and also, like I said, may bring in also what is coming in for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. These energies, um, well, the lunar eclipse is uh, November 29th to the 30th, but you will be uh, feeling them now, okay? And maybe in a little bit afterwards, but it'll be interesting to see what's happening with the, those belong to the zodiac sign of Libra. Be the five card spread, plus I'll be doing a pick a card reading at the end. It may show love, may show something else, because I'm asking what is faded, okay? What is faded for Libra? Let's see what the incoming energy is. <clears throat> Try not to lose my voice. Try not to sneeze. I did it in one of the readings already. Communications, or you may miss something of communications. You may cut somebody off in communications also, because we're talking about the lunar eclipse here. It also could be that there's a misunderstanding in some way, but we'll find out. Incoming energy. Some of you are dealing with the king of wands. It could be a Leo type energy, but it also could be someone a little bit older. Someone is maybe short-tempered. Maybe someone's not feeling well. Maybe someone's losing strength. But the king of wands could be... Uh, could be any fire sign or someone with a lot of fire energy i should say that's in the past but you may be still feeling it okay because we're still reading for the masses here make sure i get it all in I haven't been lately um new setup which uh the obstacle which you're supposed to overcome someone may want you to work on something or you should be working on something and maybe you don't feel like it maybe you should be working towards something also because remember we're having a solar eclipse coming in december so you may not even want to consider something, or you may be putting it from you with the Nine of Wands. See how the person's looking towards something? Has to do, could do with a fire sign also, or a fire energy, or something that needs a lot of work. Knight of Cups, we've got a lot of people here. Definitely out to clarify to find out what they're all about. Knight of Cups, in reverse, someone... Uh, between, I say, 25 and 45 usually, but not always. Knight of Cups is someone could be very emotional right now that's coming in. Emotional situations. What is coming towards you? Four of Swords. The energy is someone's trying to recover. Someone needs to take a break. Something is going on. Okay, something serious. When I see this, it's something serious. Someone needs to, like I said, recover from something. We'll find out. And there is the Three of Pentacles. This could be earning money, um, collaborating with somebody, getting together with somebody. We'll find out what that is. See what's going on. I see emotional situations. I see where you don't want to work towards something. It could be for a lot of reasons. It could be because the way society is right now, with the way the politics are right now. It could be all those reasons. But let's find out what's going on with the clarifiers. Like I said, I'll do a pick a card. But... You're dealing with a king of wands and also a knight of cups. Let's find out what the king of wands is all about. Because someone is upset. Someone is not feeling like themselves. Maybe, like I said, they lack energy. But it's all kind of reasons. I need two cards to find out. King of wands, why are you there? For Libra. The high priestess, the king of wands is keeping secrets. Yeah, they're keeping secrets. It could be over... For some of you, a pregnancy, or that they don't want a pregnancy, or they or they they're keeping secrets from you, and I'm feeling this mostly that something that didn't happen with them, that didn't occur with them, that may have went away, they're not telling you about. They're not. It's like they're not communicating with you on this, and it's a secret. Okay, they're keeping it to themselves. And it has to do with the emperor. Something that did not flourish or take off for them. Something that... Hmm. Let me get another card. Yes, yeah, something... Wow. Page of Swords. That could be your energy. They're, all I'm saying is they're just not telling you something, Libra. They're, they're hiding something. Something you need to... Address because I did see where that communications card something was off there, you know, the incoming energy. So it's up to you whether you pursue, you know, try to find out what this is. You can, it's saying you can, 
but you may not want to work with it. You know, you may not want to work with it at all. You got that nine of, of wands in reverse. Do I really care kind of attitude? Do I really want to um, take up something and work towards something? So the nine of wands in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Libra. Is someone you had a connection with that was solid at one time? There's a communications card again in, the, in another deck, okay? Um, you may not want to deal with this person for whatever reason. Or you may not want to deal with the situation. Current environment, someone's a really emotional. Somebody else, type of water type energy. They got a lot of water in their chart, possibly their astrology chart. I see this someone who may send you a message themselves and saying, you know, I need to do something about this. We need to do something about this. But like I said, Ace of Cups, you may not be wanting to, but they're going to ask you to make a decision. They're going to ask it of you whether you want to do this or not. They're going to ask you of it. And it's up to you whether you, you decide to go with and help someone or a situation or put it from you. And because you haven't made a decision, maybe because you're saying, oh, I really don't want to put myself out there for this, someone may get emotional over it, okay? Outside situation, four of swords, taking a break, recovery. That could be society in general, okay? People are trying to recover from something, you know, what has been going on for everybody, you know? So the four of swords in the upright, I need two cards, please. King of Rods, again, the fire energy, same energy, King of Wands and King of Rods. King of Rods may be trying to recover, trying to balance themselves out. And there's hope in this situation. But you may be telling somebody, you know, your truth, what you want out of life. Because I feel like maybe it took a lot of strength from you. Or vice versa. But you're saying like, I don't know if I want to deal with it, but you need to do what you need to do to fix a situation. Because I do see someone wanting to work towards a situation with you, you collaborating or making more money in the end. So the Three of Pentacles. Two cards, please, for Libra. Nope, you're going to walk away from it. Someone wants to work with you towards something, and you got a lot of people around you, or you will be, okay? You got the Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, we got Earth, we got Water, we got Fire, you got Air You. But I feel like someone wants to collaborate with you, someone that you had dealings with, someone wants you to work towards them, but I don't think you are. I think you're going to tell this person now, because it feels like they... They held back a secret, so you don't trust them anymore, maybe, or you just don't want to work with it. They are recovering. They are getting better, whoever you're dealing with, and they have hope They have hope towards you, okay? but And they're going to say, can we please work with it? It's, it's dealing with more than one person here, but I see you walking away. And uh, you got the Queen of Cups here. Maybe you're walking towards the Queen of Cups or away from the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups is in the upright. This person is very generous and kind and loving. Um, usually at the ages of 35 and up, 45 and up usually. Um, not always, though. They can be just very mature and very nurturing. I like the Queen of Cups. But maybe you're walking towards the Queen of Cups because they come after the Eight of Cups. You know, where they walk away and then the Queen of Cups is there. So someone's wanting you to work with them, okay? The communications are off. They want to talk to you. You may not want to talk to this person. Remember doing the lunar eclipse where you cut something out, and that's what this reading's all about. But then again, like I'll be uh, reading for uh, December's reading, and that's when the solar eclipse brings something in. And it looks like you're going to walk away from someone that wants to collaborate with you, probably even bring on some finances, but you may not want to deal with them. I'm just seeing you don't want to deal with them anymore. But the Eight of Cups shows someone walking away. Let's do a pick a card reading. It may show about love, finances, anything, family. For Libra, something arising. Three cards. The pick a card reading, as you know. 
I bring them all together at the end anyway for secondary energies, but pick what you're, you know, drawn to. I believe there's something arising concerning faded events of the lunar eclipse. What is going on? And may even tell us more about the solar eclipse still, you know. We were summoning rising. Three cards from the Black Moon Astrology cards. Very fitting for this reading. I need three cards for Libra Summoning and Rising. They're huge cards. Very beautiful cards, though. Three cards about the lunar eclipse of faded events. What's occurring? For the pick a card reading. Libra Summoning and Rising. They are huge cards. They're very hard to shuffle when you got small hands, but I like them. Highly recommended. I don't think they're overly expensive. A lot of cards are. Some are really worth buying. Those are. Three cards from the Moonology. Again, very fitting cards for Libra Summoning and Rising concerning the lunar eclipse. What are they going to be cutting out or faded events? What's going to be occurring? Three cards, please. And as I said, it could show the solar eclipse reading too. Part of it anyway. So let's see what's going on. If you pick this section, remember I bring them all together at the end, but whatever, this is going to be the main energy you're going to be feeling. If you pick this section, you need to have a heart to heart but concerning here. Um, in the, the original reading here, it's like you don't want to talk to this person. Our communications are off. Maybe you do want to talk and their, their communications are off, but I'm feeling it's the other way. Um, a heart to heart. Is uh, required if you want to work out a situation. It's okay to analyze. You will be analyzing, especially with that Nine of Wands I see there. Um, it's a Virgo type energy, and maybe some of you are dealing with a Virgo, but it's about analyzing and being very practical at this time and having a heart to heart conversation. And there is a time for healing, okay? You can heal from a situation. I do see that Four of Swords where someone needs to heal and there is hope in a situation. But like I said, you may want to walk away, maybe even walk away from negativity or walk away from things that were negative. Maybe you will collaborate, just walk away from BS, you know? Ah, uh, don't get this often, especially this year. Only a few times and the ones that did get it in my personal readings, which I haven't done lately or very few. Um, the ones I read for actually got married. You know, they didn't think they were going to, but they are. And I got one coming up. But a wedding is going to happen. You're going to either go to a wedding or um, commit in some way. Okay, I'm just saying. Upcoming, eighth house, endings and beginnings. So you're going to be cutting things out and beginning something else. Endings and beginnings. And prosperity lies ahead. Okay, for some of you, you'll be dealing with a Taurus. See that? Um, but prosperity lies ahead or Aries. I should know it's Taurus. Um, oh. You may be committing to somebody. You will be ending a situation, negativity, negative situations. Maybe it's just society, you know, the way it's been. Maybe that's all going away, you know, the negative energies. And you're going to be starting something else, something of a commitment. Give your relationship a chance. Some of you may consider walking away or not, but it says give give a relationship a chance. You are thinking about walking away or maybe you're just tired of people. I did see that nine of wands where you don't know if you want to work or something. But I see, the, like I said, the eight of cups there, but I also see maybe like maybe you're walking away from negativity. For everybody, it'll be a little bit different. Fourth house roots is about the home and family, okay? Your home is needing... Um, another chance is what it's saying, but you don't have to. For some of you have a good reason to walk away, but some of you may reconsider, actually reconsider. Don't let pride get in your way, okay? You may be um, feeling like you need to stand up for yourself, and there's nothing wrong with that, but maybe somebody does want to get together with you and eventually, and so it's saying to collaborate in some way. Don't don't put up too much of your uh, barrier is what it's saying. Now... This looks like a lot about relationships. I don't get that as much as I did, you know. I'm hoping to get more relationship readings, but it's time for a heart-to-heart. -heart. Give your relationship a chance. Go ahead, analyze, be practical, and it's a time for healing. You will be ending a negative situation. Lunar eclipse brings in negative, you know, uh, closes negative situations or closes things that no longer serve us. And it could be just a bad energy that's been around you lately. A lot of people, right?
So it's closing out something and then something else comes in. For some of you, you may be meeting something out, somebody else and you may feel like you can't, you're not ready. It's saying give the relationship a chance. Whatever it is, past, present, future relationships, give it a chance because you may be putting up a hard shell. Okay, you may be putting up barriers and it's saying um, if you lay down, you know, your barriers just a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, it could lead to a commitment and you will be ending negative situations. That's what's going to happen in the, um, this month in November. And then, like I said, this is showing a little bit of the solar eclipse. You're going into something else. You're ending one thing and going trans transformation, going into something else. This is your reading, Libra. I'm going to let this go. I will upload it soon. Bye.